Hello and welcome back to Mama Eurovision. A long day. A long day. A long, long day where we reacted to each and every song from the second semi final. It's coming to an end right now as we will give our reaction to Sweden. Now, if you're a Eurovision fan, you have to know that Sweden is most likely the most anticipated entry every year. The Swedish national final, also known as the Melodie Festivalen, is the actual tea when it comes to Eurovision. It's just marvelous. Usually I don't skip it every year, but this year I have, because I was too busy making that money. However, I am very, very excited and very curious to see what Sweden is sending us this year. Um, are we ready We're to ready. roll the tape Here on the Swedish entry this year? Time to react. Mama Eurovision. I can't. Baby Eurovision. Let's do this. Hold me closer. I'm with you, Sweden. Okay, I love the vocals. I love the outfit. Building at the perfect pace. I also wouldn't expect any less from Sweden. Are you said Sweden is like very rarely changing the staging when it comes to this? Yes, very rarely changing. Maybe they'll open a bit more camera angles and I'm sure the audience on the actual Eurovision stage would give a lot of life for this moment. I do love these on-stage shots. The close-up ones with all these lights. She's captivating in many ways. Mm. Like, there is something. No, there is a lot of stage presence and charisma. I love the outfit, and she's super effortless. Lovely. Oh, and that was Sweden 2022. Hold me closer. Honey, I will. That's a track I see myself listening to a lot. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's gonna grow on me every single time I'm gonna listen to it. Again, I think there is a lot of improvement that Absolutely. can be and should be if Sweden is actually aiming for a seventh victory. 
we need to tighten up the staging and make something which is slightly more memorable because i don't think as it is right now it's enough for a winning spot definitely it's a top five material um it's catchy i think being sweden being sweden i was expecting much more from the production of the song mm. um it did build really nicely in the first minute and a half but after that it was a bit flatlined which is unfortunately quite a running theme across all of the music so far um but it's not bad it's just not great she is cool though i, like I think that. i think this is one of the this is one of the the ones that will grow on you after you listen to it I second so. or third or fourth time hold me closer you'll be very close to the top especially based on what we heard so far sweden you are getting from mama eurovision a very respectable eight points uh, that have the potential to become 10 and even do spa every single time I'm going to listen to it again and again mm -hmm. But for now, it's eight points baby Eurovision for me. It's gonna be six points Six points from baby Eurovision to you Sweden, which sums up at 14 points um, It was very it was very in, I, I'm very happy with the second semi-final It was a roller coaster. Say. It was a roller coaster ride, but the second semi-final proved me wrong about this year yes. I think we have a lot of we lots of diamonds. Lots of hope. There is lots of hope. Um, that was a very fun journey, and I'm very blessed and happy to share it with Yay. you, baby Eurovision. Yay. My name is Judy Ladivina, and I am your mama Eurovision. And I'm FKA, and I'm your baby Eurovision. Before we leave, of course, we're going to invite you to leave down in the comments below what do you think about the Swedish entry. Are we getting closer to a seventh victory, or are we going farther, farther, and farther away? Uh, click the like subscribe button. You already know how it works. We really love you. Miss Ting, we finished the second semi final. Miss your honor. Miss your honor. Do Drop the mic. Mic is dropped. Mic drop.